John Cabot by Tanmai, Sophia, and Peyton. John Cabot was born in 1450 in Genoa, Italy. Genoa is a city on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. Spices, silk, metals, and valuable stones from Asia were traded there. So it is not surprising that John became a merchant. He also became an expert mariner or sailor. John's father's name is Julio Caboto, and he was a spice merchant. John had a brother named Piero. When John was 11, he and his family moved from Genoa to Venice. John Cabot's real name is Giovanni Caboto. Uh, the name Caboto meant coast trader. John then married a lady named Matea and had three sons named Ludovico, Sebastian, and Sancto. Venice was a really busy place at his time. Sailors traveled far and wide just to trade. Those people who those who sailed back, who sailed brought back spices and silks for their people. John Cabot grew up hearing sailors talk about their hard adventure through the sea. John Cabot also heard about tales uh, tales of Marco Polo, another famous sailor. John started as a crewman on other captain's ships. Um, John even got taught how to use a compass. Jo Cabot made many maps, charts, and globes. Soon John became a captain of his very own. John Cabot made so many trips in and out of the ports of Venice. When all of his children were young, his whole family moved to Valencia, Spain. Cabot wanted to build a port of his own, but was never able to. He had too many adventures ahead of him. He couldn't stop. John Cabot lived in an exciting and adventurous time. Lots of explorers at the time were crossing the Atlantic Ocean, and Cabot wanted to be a part of it. He knew that the kings of Spain and Portugal had been sponsoring explorers. They provided ships and supplies, and in return, the explorers would claim any land they found for the country that sponsored them. Cabot wanted to ask, wanted to ask either Spain or Portugal to sponsor him. However, when neither country was interested, Cabot then asked the King of England to sponsor him. Cabot's plan was to find the quicker route to Asia than Columbus had charted. He would sail a more northern route across the Atlantic. So King Henry VII, the English king, agreed to sponsor him. Whatever Cabot found, he would claim for England. Like other explorers, and like other explorers at this time, including Christopher Columbus, Cabot led an expedition in which all the land would be claimed for another country, and in his case, England. Cabot was claimed to be the first European to land in North America since the Vikings. Reports say that Cabot has claimed two huge islands for England. In May 1497, Cabot began his voyage. Unfortunately, most of his logs and records have been lost. Cabot thought he had found the water route to Asia and was close to Cathay, but was mistaken. He, was re he returned to England and made a second voyage in 1498. Cabot's fame was temporary. However, his discovery of, of the Great Banks off Newfoundland with its vast schools of fish led to future voyages by commercial fishermen. Most accounts of John Cabot's voyages do not include any details about his encounter, his encounter about Native Americans in Newfoundland or Nova Scotia. This was John's last voyage and he died in 1499.